Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Serengeti Carol sunglasses. But first off, link today's video sponsor, our own website, shadereviewstore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses, up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, the website there is shadereviewstore.com. Check it out. So let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These have 53 millimeter lenses and an 18 millimeter bridge, and they also do produce a larger size of these sunglasses with 58 millimeter lenses in the exact same 18 millimeter bridge. Now the exact colorway that I have on today's video have Serengeti's shiny light gold uh, metal frames and then the lenses are their mineral glass polarized uh, 555 NM Cat 3 to Cat 3 photochromic lenses. So these lenses are going to darken uh, slightly when you walk out and expose them to UV rays. But as you can see right now, they are still relatively dark uh, and they're gonna be really good for those bright and sunny summer days. These lenses also have Serengeti spectral control lenses, which are a really great and high quality lens, which is going to have a really good color balance to them. And they're going to darken from uh, 57% to 92%, depending on the UV UV situation that you are in, and they're going to block 88% of harmful blue light and 96% of harmful blue light, depending again how dark the lenses are. So really cool and very advanced lens here. They also have very nice and premium uh, spring hinges, which are going to bend out and give basically a custom fit to basically anybody's face. Very, very comfortable. Uh, they do have these SD uh, ear rests as well, which are fully adjustable. So you can actually heat these up and give them a custom fit to the face. And they also do have a uh, fully adjustable nose rest as well. So you can easily just bend these and adjust them uh, to give a custom fit to the face as well. Now, as far as weight goes, these frames are relatively heavy, coming in at 32 grams, and that's because they have the all glass lenses here. And uh, because the frames are super thin and the lenses are relatively large, you're definitely going to feel a little more discomfort than you would on a pair that has a little bit better of a balance to it. So, even though they are fully adjustable, they can still be a little bit uncomfortable in wearing these frames all day long. Now the only logos on these frames is going to be a little Serengeti logo here in the top right corner of the lens here. And then we can also see some beautiful etching here around the frame of a little S logo, which of course stands for Serengeti. Now as far as the build quality goes, these are built really, really nicely and they are made in Italy. So they say Serengeti made in Italy in the inner right uh, temple of the frames. And then here in the inner left temple, we can see the exact model name and color code information. Now as far as coverage from the sun goes, these frames are not going to offer the best coverage from the sun. So here up top, we can see a pretty big gap to let sunlight in unprotected. Then here on the side, again, there is a definitely a massive gap that does let sunlight in unprotected. So not the most practical pair of frames, which is to be expected with a kind of double bridge uh, pair of frames uh, with a lens style like this. Now, as far as pricing goes, these frames are going to run you $330, which is definitely a relatively expensive, but they do have very high quality all glass lenses and the build quality here is really good as well. We do have these available on our website for a pretty big discount off the original MSRP. So make sure to check them out on our website shadereviewstore.com if you're interested in current pricing and availability. But that's about it for this video. I'm sorry for the short one. I am definitely uh, feeling under the weather, uh, but I try to make uh, videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, as most of you know. Uh, so I do apologize for that. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.